going from Shorncliffe in this video I'm going to walk from here at the pier all the way around to the jetty at Redcliffe. Beautiful day, let's get going. One of the reasons I wanted to do this walk today is to test my right knee. As some of you know, I busted it on Christmas morning and it's pretty well healed now. It's feeling, feeling great, so I thought it's time to get out and stretch my legs. Out there in the distance is the bridge I'm going to walk across. I think it, I think it used to be called the Houghton Highway. I don't know what it's called now. I've certainly never walked over it. I've driven over it a few times. But there it is over there. I think the last time I came through here was when I did my walk from Sandgate to Browns Plains. That was a two-day video. There's the link up there. Or there somewhere there's the link to the video if you want to take a look at it but this area is familiar I think I walked along here and then walked down that way somewhere and and took a right uh, but that was a long walk that one stayed overnight in a hotel in the city I, think I might take a walk on the on the sand down here yeah. It looks very, very windy up there, so I might take my hat off. I don't want it ending up floating away to Vanuatu.
now in Clontarf, but I'm going to Woody Point, which is just over that way there. Um, okay, Clontarf, I think this is Clontarf. I'm going to go and have a look at the beach. This is a part of the world I don't know at all. Look at this. So I'm going over that way. There's the jetty at Woody Point. So that's the second pier that I'll be visiting on this walk. The water looks quite black. Uh, I'm sure it's not pollution, I just don't know what it is. It's a very dark, inky kind of colour to it. I suppose I can walk along the beach here. Ah, oh, we've got a plaque here. What's this one? The Liberty Swing, a partnership project involving the Redcliffe City Council and the following sponsors. And there are a heck of a lot of them. There's what? One, two, three, four, there's about 20 or 25 sponsors. What's the Liberty Swing? Must be some huge, massive thing around here. It's, Is that it? The Liberty Swing. That's it. It took what, 25 different companies and the city council to make that. Now I've come across a rune stone, Viking rune stone. It says Saga Vikings raised this stone November 1997. Memory of two years as Vikings in Redcliffe. I didn't know there were Vikings in Redcliffe. You know they'd come this far south. Viking rune stone. Okay. Vikings in Redcliffe. All right. What else have we got? This is becoming very surreal. Now that looks cool. A whole bunch of uh, things for kids to play on, floating on the water. Just crossed over into Woody Point now. I think this is my very first time here. Somewhere close by is a shipwreck. Is it the Gainder? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's, it can't be too far from here. Just got to find it. There's probably a sign somewhere. Gainder wreck, 50 meters on the right. Oh, there it is. And she was beached in her current location to serve as a breakwater. Okay, I always thought that it was a shipwreck. Well, it was a ship and it looked pretty wrecked. But it was actually beached here deliberately. Oh. Very, very beautiful spot, but it does look like there's a lot of people camping here, as in permanently camping. I guess they're out of view of the passing traffic and the houses up there. They've got a lovely view here, definitely.
just going to walk on the beach, but the tide is pretty high and I'm going to get quite wet, so I'll go back upstairs and continue along on the roads. Shame though, because it's beautiful down there. Four hours all up from Shawncliffe here. This is the site in 1824 when the first British settlers arrived with the intention of setting up the Moreton Bay Penal Settlement right here. It didn't last too long and in 1825, at the end of 1825, they moved down to the Brisbane River and this area was abandoned. And just across the road from me, just a little point of curiosity, is the old Redcliffe City Hall. I believe it dates from the... Let me check. Here we go. Conveniently, there's a little information thing outside the front. Uh, the whole thing was opened in 1941. This is it here. It's not the town council building anymore. It's a solicitor's office. It's lovely that it's, uh, that it's still there and in very good condition as well. Thanks very much for watching. I'm dying for a beer and we'll go and find one and murder it. If you like the video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you again on my next walk.